The Keychron Q1 Pro, Keychron K2 HE, Aula F99 Pro, Nufi Air 75 V2, and Keychron V5 to Max are the most popular keyboards for developers of 2025, but which is the absolute best? We are going to compare them to each other and score them in various categories, with some categories holding more weight than others. In the end, we'll decide which is the best one based on the final score, and we will declare the absolute winner. Let's dive in. First, we are going to compare them on the key feel and switch type category, which has a multiplier of 2x. The Keychron Q1 Pro provides a wonderfully cushioned and springy typing experience thanks to its gasket-mounted design, and the factory pre-lubed K-Pro switches feel exceptionally smooth with very little wobble, but the tall KSA profile keycaps required a bit of an adjustment period for me to get my accuracy up. I give it an 8.8 .8 out of 10. Next up, the Keychron K2 Qi features innovative Gatoron magnetic switches that use a Hall effect sensor, allowing me to precisely adjust the actuation point from 0.2 to 3.8 millimeters for an incredibly responsive feel where I never have to bottom out the keys, although the keys are a bit louder on the upstroke compared to others. This one gets a 9.5 out of 10. With the Aula F99 Pro, you get pre-lubed linear switches and a five-layer sound dampening structure that makes for a surprisingly smooth and quiet session, but I did notice a very minor minor wobble on some keys and found the gasket mount a little too flexible for my personal taste. It scores an 8.2 out of 10. The new Phi Air 75 V2 is a low profile keyboard that feels surprisingly close to a full height mechanical, featuring pre lube switches with more travel distance than you'd expect and solid PBT keycaps. However, the completely flat keycap profile took me an hour or two to get used to and avoid typos. I'm giving it an 8.5 out of 10. Finally, the Keychron V5 Max uses a gasket mount design with a polycarbonate plate that delivers a soft and quiet typing feel. But while testing the Gateron Jupiter Red switches, I noticed a very faint and unusual tactile bump late in the key press that you wouldn't expect from a linear switch. This earns it a 7.9 out of 10. The Keychron K2. He takes the win in this category with 9.5 points because it's highly responsive and deeply customizable magnetic switches provided a typing experience that was simply cut above the rest. Next, we are going to compare them on the build quality and durability category, which has a multiplier of 1.5. The Keychron Q1 Pro is built like an absolute tank with its full CNC aluminum body that feels incredibly sturdy and does not move an inch on the desk, but I found its tall profile and high keycaps can feel a little awkward if you have smaller hands or are used to more compact keyboards, giving it a 9.2 out of 10. I immediately noticed the Keychron K2 he feels less substantial than its Q-series sibling due to its plastic frame. However, it still provides a solid and well-built chassis for everyday typing and has a reassuring weight to it that prevents it from feeling cheap, earning a respectable 7.5 out of 10. While the AULA F99 Pro has a plastic case that I found exhibits some noticeable flex and can feel a bit cheap compared to the metal-bodied keyboards, it surprises with durable PBT keycaps and five layers of internal sound dampening materials that give it a more premium feel than its price tag suggests landing it at 6.8 out of 10. The Nufi Air 75 V2 offers a sleek and impressively solid unibody aluminum frame that feels rigid and durable, especially for a low-profile keyboard designed for portability, though it naturally lacks the sheer heft and planted feel of a full-size desk keyboard like the Q1 Pro, which is a fair trade-off for a rating of 8.0 out of 10. Finally, the Keychron V5 Max impresses with a surprisingly robust plastic case it shows very little flex for a budget-oriented board, and while it does not have the premium, cold-to-the-touch feel of an all-metal keyboard, its overall construction feels solid and ready to handle heavy daily use, which is why I'm giving it a strong 8.8 .8 out of 10. With its full CNC-milled aluminum body providing a heft and sturdiness that the others just cannot match, the Keychron Q1 Pro takes the lead in this category with a score of 9.2. Next, we are going to compare them on the Layout and Customization Options category, which has a multiplier of 1.5. The Keychron Q1 Pro offers an incredible level of personalization thanks to its full QMK and VIA support. But let me remap any key and create macros, though its 75% layout can feel a little restrictive compared to larger boards, which is why I'm giving it an 8.8 .8 out of 10. Moving on. The Keychron K2 HE is a compact 75% board that saves a lot of desk space, but its customization is limited by the lack of deep remapping software like VIA, and I found the non-staggered function row to be somewhat unusual, earning it a 7.2 out of 10. The IULA F99 Pro impressed me with its 96% layout, which strikes a fantastic balance by keeping the numpad while staying compact, but the absence of QMK or VA firmware is a real missed opportunity that limits its ultimate potential compared to the Keychrons, so it gets a 7.9 out of 10. For those who want a slim profile, the Nufi Air 75 V2 is a dream come true. 
finally incorporating QMK and VA support for endless software customization. But its low profile design means your options for swapping switches and keycaps are far more limited than with a standard keyboard, landing it at an 8.5 out of 10. Finally, the Keychron V5 Max provides a superb 96 10 tenths, 96% layout that keeps the numpad I need for coding, while also giving me the complete and powerful customization suite of QMK and VEA, making it feel like the most versatile board here for a developer. So I'm scoring it a 9.4 out of 10. The Keychron V5 Max takes the win here with a score of 9.4 out of 10, because it perfectly blends a developer-friendly 96% layout with the powerful and limitless customization offered by QMK and VA firmware. Next, we're going to compare them on the connectivity and compatibility category, which has a multiplier of two. The Keychron Q1 Pro offers both Bluetooth 5.1 and a wired connection that works across all major operating systems, but its lack of a 2.4 gigahertz dongle and a wireless polling rate of only 90 hertz feels dated and introduces noticeable lag, which is a letdown for such a premium board, earning it a 6.8 out of 10. Coming in with a significant upgrade, the Keychron K2 HE provides tri-mode support giving me a reliable 1000 Hertz polling rate on its 2.4 gigahertz connection for snappy performance. And while its Bluetooth connection is solid, it's a bit of a letdown that it is only compatible with Gatoron's proprietary magnetic switches, which lands it at an 8.4 out of 10. Packing an incredible value, the AULA F99 Pro also features flawless tri-mode connectivity with Bluetooth 5.0, 2.4 gigahertz and wired options. But what really sets it apart from the Keychrons is its absolutely massive 8,000 milliampere hour battery that just keeps going for weeks making it a clear winner in my book with a 9.3 out of 10. The new Fi Air 75 V2 is an amazing travel companion that impressively connects to four devices at once across Bluetooth and its 2.4 gigahertz receiver. And while it offers a fast 1000 hertz polling rate for low latency coding sessions, its low profile design might not be for everyone, which is why I'm giving it a 9.0 out of 10. Finally, the Keychron V5 Max delivers the tri-mode connectivity that was missing from the Q1 Pro, including a 1000 hertz 2.4 gigahertz polling rate but it is held back by the same sluggish 90 hertz Bluetooth performance and some reported connection stability issues, which earns it a 7.5 out of 10. With its flawless tri-mode performance and a battery that is double the size of its competitors, the AULA F99 Pro easily secures the win in this category with a score of 9.3 for its unmatched wireless endurance and flexibility. Finally, we are going to compare them on the value for money category, which has a multiplier of three. The Keychron Q1 Pro offers a genuinely premium experience with its full aluminum case and a typing feel that is just a joy for hours on end. But the exclusion of 2.4 gigahertz wireless connectivity at this price point feels like a major oversight, especially when cheaper boards offer more connection options. For that, I give it a 7.2 out of 10. Next up, the Keychron K2. Qi is an interesting one because typing on its Hall effects switches really does feel like typing on clouds and offers a unique, smooth experience. Yet when I look at the complete package, the value proposition feels slightly diminished because you are paying a premium for the Switch technology without getting as many extra features as some of the competition. It gets an 8.0 out of 10. I was honestly blown away by the Ayula F99 Pro. It packs an absolutely massive 8,000 milliamp hour battery and versatile tri-mode connectivity, features I would expect to see on keyboards costing significantly more, making it a powerhouse for productivity, even if the brand isn't as mainstream as others. This one easily earns a 9.5 out of 10. The new Fi Air 75 V2 is a special case, as it truly redefines what a low-profile keyboard can be and is fantastic if you absolutely need a slim and portable setup. But its specialized design means you're paying a bit more for that form factor, making it a less compelling general value choice compared to full-profile boards that offer more for less money. I'm giving it a 7.8 out of 10. Finally, the Keychron V5 Max brilliantly bridges the gap between budget and premium giving you a superb typing experience and robust build quality that feels very close to a high-end board, but in a more affordable plastic chassis. Though it's a bit disappointing that the keycaps lack shine-through lettering for working in the dark. It scores a solid 9.1 out of 10. It's clear the AULA F99 Pro takes the win with an impressive 9.5 points by packing an insane 8,000 milliamp hour battery and full tri-mode connectivity into a package that just offers unbeatable bang for your buck. The results of our comparison show each product shines in its own way, but the AULA F99 Pro stands out with its score of 85.55. After using it for a few weeks, it's clear this keyboard delivers exceptional value with its massive 8,000 mAh lithium battery and flawless tri-mode connectivity. These features, coupled with its surprisingly smooth linear switches and quiet operation, they make the AULA F99 Pro a powerhouse for productivity. It consistently impressed me with its endurance and adaptability, making it the top choice for anyone seeking unbeatable bang for their buck. As for the other contenders, each brings something unique to the table, 
the Keychron V5 Max, scoring a close 85.4, impressed with its versatile 90C Sensen, versatile on 96% layout and robust construction. While the new Phi Air 75 V2 scored 83.5 for its portable design and impressive connectivity options. With the Keychron K2 HE at 81.85, its standout feature was the customizable gator and magnetic switches offering a responsive typing experience. Lastly, the Keychron Q1 Pro with a score of 79.8 provided a premium feel and build quality, but was let down by its dated connectivity options. Each keyboard has its strengths, making any of them a worthy investment depending on your specific needs and preferences.